Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we arrived at the all-important destination of Opelucid City and met Drayden, the mayor, who was able to teach us a lot about the origins of the Unova region, but unfortunately didn't know much about the dark stone that we have obtained that is supposed to house Zekrom. But don't forget about Iris either. We have met up with her once again and found out that she's gonna be our opponent in our eighth and final gym battle. This time, we're gonna explore town and see all that it is because I really love Opelucid City. It's a pretty wonderful place. Go back into Drayden's house. We go upstairs and we find he's been keeping live football players in his attic. Scandal of the century. Better sell this to the tabloids. Concerned about your Pokemon's weight? You don't need to put it on a diet. Just let it hold this. I wish it was that easy. We get the Float Stone, which halves the weight of your Pokemon if you're getting hit by a move like Low Kick or Grass Knot. Personally, I wish that it had the same effect that it does in the trading card game where it lets you retreat without any consequence, but it might be a little bit too good being able to retreat without using up your turn, I'm just saying. And I don't mean like those moves that let you do it, I mean just being able to do something else on another Pokemon, yeah, that'd be a little bit too good. I am coaching Iris, but honestly, she's been stronger than me ever since she came here. Uh, no, I didn't really mean to pull out my dowsing machine. I have an item that I don't know how to use. Would you give it a try and see if you can make it work? Free stuff, you betcha! The ring target is a very, very oddball of an item. It makes it so that your Pokemon, by uh, any sort of accuracy checks or type immunity checks, are bypassed. You will always get hit by an attack that you would usually not get hit by. It has its uses, mainly for countering or mirror coding types that you're immune to, or by using Trick or Switcheroo to force a bad item on your opponent. Though I can't say I've ever seen it seriously played, it's one of those more gimmicky items that gets swept under the rug, and I think there's far better bad items to force on your opponent through Trick. There's also a little speck of land floating out there in the ether. Can't do anything about it, but it's always kind of strange. We'll go back outside. And we have our local instrumentalist here who is making this music sound absolutely beautiful. I don't know what this instrument's called, I just have always called it the Legend of Korra instrument and everybody seems to know what I'm talking about, so I never felt the need to actually look up what it was called. And if you stop watching Legend of Korra because season two wasn't very good, I understand. I feel the exact same way, but you owe it to yourself to check out season three. It is like the greatest thing ever. And if you're a fan of the original Avatar, trust me, you will like it. Okay, just needed to get that out there because it bothers me so much how many people have not watched that season because it was actually really good. Uh, why not? Commemorative Freshwater. Gotta wet my whistle after freaking out about something that I'm very passionate about like that. And I probably better also turn on my dowsing machine. Aha, knew that there'd be something. I knew that there'd be something so much that I was standing on top of it. Max Repel! That is the kind of hidden item that I actually like to see that I might use in the future. We're gonna head into the Pokemon Center. And even though we just had our bottom clerk at the uh, Shopping Mall 9, we talked to this guy and find he sells all of the exact same things as that bottom clerk. Dust Ball, Timer Ball, and Quick Ball. Slightly more convenient if you're wanting to fly to somewhere and then browse the shop, but I don't need to buy anything from you. I already got all that I need. And I like healing at this Pokemon Center, if only because the lady in the bottom left has a funny face that gives the Sinnoh hiker a run for his money. <laughs> she looks so doofy and so, ooh, I'm kind of cross-eyed, I don't know, I'm maybe really wanting to stare at my nose and see if it's still on my face. I don't, somehow don't believe that it is. The slow passage of time in Opelucid City, it fits an old woman like me perfectly. I know what you mean, lady. I can relate to you. The older you get, the faster time goes. It's already going too damn fast, and I wish it would just slow down already because I don't want to be old. Sometimes I think this. There could be another person where, a, another world where a person who looks just like me lives in a completely different way. There could be another person where a whole world lives differently than me, yes. Um, we're gonna head back outside, and the city's not terribly huge. There's not a whole lot to see and do by comparison. It's not gonna be a seven parter, trust me. I spent so many happy days training my Pokemon. Uh, if my, making my beloved Pokemon, if it will make my beloved Pokemon a perfect being, however, I can't help but let it go. So, have we really been making our Pokemon suffer? You're kind of getting to see just what kind of influence Team Plasma's having on the people here. City is time's dividing line. If you try to go out to the east, there is something ahead and the road is closed now. Don't need to give us any explanation, but 
Hey, I guess the policemen also have that absolutely beautiful, glorious eye color that I've been praising so much on so many of the male NPCs. Seriously, why can't there be any, like, teal-eyed girls in this universe? Like I'm needing any more girls to come here. Uh, if all Pokemon are released, trainers and gym leaders will no longer exist. For better or for worse, the world will surely change. Are you going to say anything about it? Hey, hey, that person called N had the legendary Pokemon with him, so he has to be the legendary hero, right? He's going to change the world, isn't he? For better or for worse, kid. For better or for worse. You're Garboder. Looks like you can try a little hard. Excuse me! My garbage became the leader of a gang. I think that's worthy of at least something. She wants to see a Pokemon that has its effort values maxed out. Ottawa at least could not take any more vitamins. Oh. No. Okay, so it's not done learning, getting its effort values. If you have maxed out the effort values of your Pokemon, each Pokemon can only have 512. Stop walking away from me! My breath does not smell that bad while I am talking like this. Okay, maybe it does. But uh, she lets you know if your Pokemon has maximum effort values, none of ours do if Samurott doesn't. The more this city develops, the more futuristic it'll become. I'm sure of this. I want to grow up quickly. If I cherished old things, they could have reminded me of old days. I totally forgot what I was like when I was a child. I think I was hoping to grow up quickly. It's like that statue is time's dividing line itself, and they're the same person speaking on either end of that. I want to know the future. I'm very worried. I wonder how my child, time, will spend the future. I'm making a machine that connects the future and present, but electricity is desperately short. I've heard that in another world, there's another Opalucid city that looks very futuristic. If there's a Pokemon from that world that knows the move Charge, the machine may work. If you're able, should you be willing to lend me a Pokemon like that? Sorry, Jack, I'm not from another world. I ain't one of them fallers. I, I see. What a pity. If you change your mind, please return. We'll at least remember you if we ever do travel to another world. I, I, what will I be like? When, what will I be when I grow up? I hope that your last name is Ryan. I truly, truly do. And that speck of land that exists out of bounds seems to be in a lot of houses. I'm catching you reusing the geometry of these building interiors to cut corners in development. Yes, I am. You already said this. Okay, we already talked to you. There was a hidden item right outside that I want to grab. Uh, somewhere? Oh, as soon as I give up and pressing A on every step. Ultra Ball! The other kind of item that I would love to see. Uh, we're gonna go into this house. And we got more to reuse geometry! The battle house, where you can have a triple battle, is next door. Whether or not you're troubled by the move of Poke by the Pokemon move attract, take this. The Destiny Knot. That'll make it so that Attract will... Effective by the move Attract, the opponent will also fall in love. It's a bit difficult to use, but I hope it will be useful. A match made in heaven. Thank you for reminding me of what that item does. I never remember its in-battle effect, and believe it or not, it's weird to think of a time when the Destiny Knot had no out-of-battle effect, but it doesn't. Glubba. I much prefer Glug 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 the Crocorock. You need to have eight gym badges to challenge the Pokemon League. However, even with such skills, it's harder to defeat the Elite Four who are waiting. All of this is well and good, but we got a certain place next door that we gotta be. That's right. We're heading for the Battle House. This is one of the rare instances where you can actually participate in a triple or rotation battle. As such, let's see, who do I want to use? I'm gonna leave things the way they are and just go with our three that are the lowest level, hopefully getting them some experience. I thought and thought and chose these three. The destructive force is overwhelming. Really, I just went into my party, looked at which three were the lowest level and stuck them out out front to, and stuck them out there in front probably to die. Simi, you did not do a whole lot of thinking, did you buddy? Ouch. This might be the most pathetic instance of seeing these three battling together that I have ever seen. Mega Horn! <laughs> sludge Bomb! And, actually no, let's Sludge Bomb the Simi here. And... Eat this, Thunderbolt! <laughs> if you survive more than two turns against me, I will eat my shoe. And I'm only saying that because I think Simi Seer is probably going to survive against my, um, my Sludge Bomb. Hey, we're going to level 44. Flame Burst. Okay, that's kind of neat that it hit Pokemon on the side. That's a move that has different effects in Triple Battle. That's kind of neat. Wow. 
might have not sludge bomb the Simi Sage just in case something stupid like that happened, because I knew that it was inaccurate. For the sake of my GI tract, I desperately need Hex to take out that Simi Sage ASAP. Please. Probably should have actually sent out rocks so that I could have used a flying type move to hit the Simi Seer, but oh well, too late now. Ice Beam. Sludge Bomb. And give it another Thunderbolt. Referencing multiple things that say Thunderbolt in funny ways. It's just how much Nintendo I play. Thank you. Good, good. I don't have to ingest my footwear. I gotta say, that would have been a real feat. Did I position them wrong? Or is there more of a fundamental... <laughs> Yes, there is a fundamental flaw in your strategy. You're battling exclusively using the elemental monkeys. That's all there is to it. Don't overthink it. Which Pokemon should I put in the middle? I'm still thinking about it. Oh, I don't know. I think you'd be better off with anything else. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, hi. Uh, how terrible is that? Which Pokemon you use? Yes, preparation before a battle is very important for triple battles. Now let's start. So there's two trainers that'll battle you in these special styles, and they refresh daily. Useful if you want to do some training, or if you just like playing these. Of course. We got Mean Fu, LGM, and Pontier. That sad moment when these three unevolved Pokemon make a better team than what the other guy had. It is now Haywire in the middle. That's a little bit awkward. Um, hmm. Focus Blast on you. And... Up a little bit. Not that I'm worried about it surviving, though, but I kind of, well, no, I don't really need the buff. These guys are easy pickings. Just give it another Thunderbolt. And, uh, you can... And I am not really thinking these things through right now. What is going on? I just have to keep going back. It's almost like I make tons and tons of mistakes. No, use Crunch. Thank you. This is not rotation battles. I have no excuse for getting confused over the battle interface because everything is backwards from what I think it is. Okay, Mean Fu went down in one hit. Can't be the only one who's pronouncing that as Mind Fu for a long time and being really upset when I found out that it was Mean Fu. LGM has gone down. Take my Moxie boost. And come on, Hilbert, make us proud. Making us proud like the newfound gangster you are, though I'm not sure I should really be proud of you for that. Be ready, stay prepared so you can battle anytime. Also be prepared for the text to scroll way too fast for you to be able to read it. They say chance favors the, prep the prepared mind. Hmm, yes, quite, very philosophical. So that is, I'm pretty sure, every building in Opelucid City except for the gym. In fact, I'm very certain of that fact. Legendary Pokemon is the symbol of Unova. Does that mean Team Plasma is right? I don't know. So deep, so simple. Uh, no way, without Pokemon I'll be too lonely and sad. But am I only using my Pokemon then? Uh, well I ain't so certain of that fact now. Got yet another house. And what do you know, it's the exact same one. 63, 64, hey, my favorite number. Oh, I was counting all the kinds of props for musicals. I think there are about 100 different kinds. If you, have a, if you have a lot of props, it makes you want to put them on Pokemon. If you put props on Pokemon, it makes you want to participate in a musical. Don't you agree? Sounds like a bad catch-22. <laughs> you know what? I'm a huge musical fan. Oh, you have a prop case. You must be a huge musical fan, too. Would you like a new prop to use in the musical? Yes, I will musical it. He gives you the gift box. Know what? I'm a huge musical fan. If you come again tomorrow, I'll give you a different prop. So this is a daily event. Want to keep visiting him to get all kinds of props. And there is a special prop that you can only get here on a certain very special day. But we're going to save that for another time when we talk about said very special day. But just know that there is a special event. It's just between you and me, okay? I'm really not very good as a trainer. So I think Team Plasma might have the right idea when they take Pokemon away from weak trainers. I do feel sorry for all the people who were robbed, though. Don't tell the story to the guy on the opposite side. We have another time dividing line. It's just between you and me, okay? I used to be a part of Team Plasma, but it's strange when everyone around you, th around you thinks the same way, isn't it? So I left Team Plasma to think for myself about what I want to do. Don't tell the story to the guy on the other. Don't tell the story to the guy on the opposite side. Pokemon foretelling the existence of echo chambers being very dangerous. Well, that is, I hope, 
Okay, I want to read the sign. Oh, it just says the same thing. Okay. That is every interior of every building and pretty much everything that we can do in town, except there is that one guy who wanted a Pokemon that knows charge from another world. If you wish to do this, I would like to maybe see if I could help somebody out a little bit, and the only way that you can do so is by interacting with other trainers in the union room, or whichever your preferred method of trading is like. You know mine certainly isn't infrared, so that's why I'm choosing this one. As the man outlined in his objectives that he had given us, we need a Pokemon from another world that knows Charge. The easiest ones to catch would be either Blitzel from the early game or Clink from Chargestone Cave. Either should know it upon capture. In our case, we got a Blitzel, so now it is time to take that Blitzel out into... <laughs> I love this song, just like I love Bastiodon, but you got a guitar player. Our hopes are put into this future. I will send them through the melody, yo. I'm sorry, the Legend of Korra instrument's pretty great, but this guy is a guitar player. Opelucid City is a city of technology if you are playing black version. It's totally different in its appearance, but all the buildings are in the same location. Only difference is the doors are a lot more effective at being murder weapons. We go into this house. You can all see the interiors of the buildings are the same, even if the geometry is pretty similar. I want to return to the past. I want to do many things over again. My father, Bach, created a machine to see the future. I am making a machine to connect with the past, but I don't have enough electricity. I've heard that in another world, there's an Opelucid city that looks very old timey. If there's a Pokemon from that world that knows the move charge, the machine may work. If you are able, would you be willing to lend me a Pokemon like that? Yes, now the machine will work. Do it, you power up that digital photo frame that you converted into a time machine. Now we can connect with the past. We connected with the past. Father, it's me, time. I owe you an apology. Return to normal. It seems to have run out of electricity. I connected with the past, but I guess my present time won't change. Oh, I will return your Pokemon to you. Thank you. This is my thank you gift. We obtained a cell battery. We've already gone over this. It was one of the many items you can get from the battle subway. This is a way to get it without having to actually use any BP. Rather than regretting the past, it is important to live in the present, which connects from the past as best as you can. Okay, I'll live positively. I actually thought time was a girl until I found out that this is time grown up in a futuristic version of this city. I heard my father that Grandpa Bach, I, I, I had a, my father had a fight with Grandpa Bach a long, long time ago. Can't read, I guess we'll never know what your name is, little generic boy, but it's kind of a cool way to do that. It's good to think positively. After all, your time machine ran on batteries. Aside from all the bippin' and boppin' we got going on around town and just how bright and shiny everything is, it's not that different. It just looks a little bit different, really. I like how the fences become space fences after it comes into the city limits, though. I like thinking that uh, Mayor Drayden had some kind of ordinance that he passed specifically for that within the city limits. If you were to go to the north, you are able to leave for Route 10 right now, but for the first time, I'm not going to be going over the Pokemon that are on Route 10 at the present time. We're gonna save that for whenever we have to go this way to go to the Pokemon League after getting our eighth badge. I just kinda don't want to explore this route twice because it's kind of a special route to me, I'll just say that. Since we're here though, one of the very few differences about the town is the Battle House being rotation battle based. 
I don't think we need to do both of them, but let's do one because it's been a while since we've battled. Flow of a game changes every turn in a rotation battle. Can you master it? Huh? Every turn in a rotation battle in more ways than one? You better not have the elemental monkeys, please. She totally does. Okay. <laughs> I want a better rotation battle than that, and like I said, the unevolved team upstairs is better than what she's got. Let's see it. Which Pokemon you use? Yes, preparation for a battle is very important for rotation battles. Now, let's start. I have done such preparations. I'm gonna be leading with Stoutland because I want to get off that Intimidate on you, forcing you to have to switch to something else. Mean Fu, I'll GM and Pontier, let's do this. And how good. I have that experience under my belt of just knowing that you're gonna have Mean Fu in the middle slot, so you're the one who's gonna get intimidated. However, I don't see myself having the easiest of times right here uh, by attacking with Burke. Let's, uh. Let's go, um, no. Let's go, yes, something I've been wanting to do for so long. Let's do thunder with that compound eyes. I love this accurate thunder. It's so good. It's borderline overpowered, and Galvantula is so fun and so fast, and it's Pokemon that might not be the best in the world, but for that one thing that it does, it's so fun to use. And you know what? Gets even better. Signal Beam. You didn't switch out? Too bad. And I am gonna give you the greatest of all slaps in the face. This will mean that all three of our Pokemon have gotten to do something in this rotation battle. We're gonna go, not that one, I get confused again. Superpower. Oh my God, you're slower than a, no. You're slower than a Ponyard. <laughs> it looked like it was going roar right before it did that because it raised up its paw. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. That felt so good. <laughs> Static grew to level 41. Hope I'm not mispronouncing that in some sort of dialect. Uh, people were correcting me that it's not Hanu, it's Honu, as the Hawaiian word for turtle is pronounced. Thank you. That'll help me if I ever reach Alola someday. And that's pretty good. That is... Everything in Opelousa City except for the gym. And next time on Pokemon Black and White, I think you know where we're headed. It's been a little while since we said our goodbyes to Blair. I wonder what he's been up to since then. You see that statue right over there? It's an angry platypus. I mean, just look at it. It's got the dark, angry eyebrows. You can see its eyes, they're white, and then it's got the dark bill. It's a platypus that's very.